is really, really simple, and there can't possibly be anyone who's opposed to this. The way all this started was five counties brought a lawsuit, and a shout-out to Suffolk, Washington, uh, Ontario, Onondaga, which I represent, and Schuyler. They brought a lawsuit and said that uh, we should be provided funding. There's a constitutional right that the state of New York, a duty that the state of New York has to provide indigent legal services. And they brought, they used their funds to bring a lawsuit, and they arrived at a, an agreed-upon settlement that became the order in the case. The order in the case basically provided for those five counties to get reimbursed by the state for <coughs> indigent legal services and to provide some oversight so that there's a common, uh, commonality of all those five counties. So the state of New York has agreed with those five counties. The other counties didn't bring the lawsuit. But they still are counties in the state of New York. They still have individuals who are arrested. They still have people that are indigent that have to go to court. And they're still paying the legal services uh, for the residents of their county as the Constitution requires. So all this bill does, it's very simple. The state's already agreed to this, but all counties have to be provided for in the same way. Now... Is anybody here against that? Somebody give me an argument against that. I mean, there's no possible argument against that. So that's what this bill does. There's going to be some refinements as this, uh, the settlement is, um, is um, worked through. Uh, and the governor did put money in the budget this year to comply with the settlement for those five counties. So what we're trying to do is to make it across the board, upstate, downstate, the governor is many, in many cases, actually in many cases in just this one speech, uh, the state of the state. We're one state. Well, if we're one state, we all should be treated the same way. So that's what this bill does. And uh, if you agree with this, spread the word because there's no possible opposition. You can't be caught in any political bind. You can't possibly offend anybody because the government has already agreed to this. So... <clears throat> Uh, thanks to Assemblywoman Fahey and all the people that are here supporting this bill. But we've got to spread this across the entire legislature in order to get this thing done, hopefully, this year in this budget process. Thank you. We have had many senators uh, chomping at the bit to get a bill like this put together because it affects their counties, it affects their people. And one of the pers people I heard the most from is Senator Ritchie. Uh, she's very vocal, very persistent, and very right. And I'd just like to introduce her for a few words. I'm certainly glad to be here today. As a former county clerk, um, I've seen firsthand what unfunded mandates do uh, across the state on our county's bottom line, whether it be St. Lawrence, Jefferson, or Oswego that I represent, or other counties across the state. This bill will allow our counties to stay underneath the tax cap, continuing to send much-needed tax relief to taxpayers across the state. So this is something uh, that must be done. I certainly commend Senator DeFrancisco and Assemblywoman Fahey for putting this forward, something I'm certainly thrilled to support. And I know my counties are looking forward to the relief that this bill will bring them. Thank you.